Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between the present value and the future value. So future value, again, is investing. Your money is growing. Okay, that is chapter 3.3. 3.4 is present value. So present value is a still, still we're making payments, right? Both of them, both future and present value, we're making payments. And that's a big key. You got to make sure that you pick up um, when, you know, when do you use compound interest and when do you use future value? Because it still says compound interest, but the difference is one makes payments. The other one is just one in initial investment. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> Okay, so when we're working with future value and present value, I'm going to start with future value. So the first thing is future value is the payment. And then that payment is multiplied by one plus I raised to the N minus one all over I. Now, you need to make sure you understand what all of these variables mean. Now, I means interest. It does not mean imaginary number, all right? That's why I like to use this. The I is how, um, is how the book or my math lab uses it, okay? So I is the same as R over N. Okay, so let's go through these. I is the rate over the number of compounds. Okay, so this is the rate as a decimal over the number of compounds. In other words, are you compounding monthly, weekly, daily, whatever it is. The T in this one, okay, the T is time and years. Okay, now, this is this one is what my math lab is going to be using. Okay, so this is your my math lab formula. This one is taking the I and giving you the, the definition of it. Okay, so this N and this N are different. Okay, the N with the definition is um, the number of compounds. Over here in my math lab, so the my math lab N is um, the number or the, the number of compounds, sorry, times the time. Okay, that's what the my math lab n is. So whichever one you use, you'll be fine. Just know that this n and this n, so let me mark them, this n and this n are different. Okay, just so just to make you aware of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through how to use this. Now, remember, your calculator does not know order of operation. All right, your calculator will only work based on how you plug it in. Okay, so if you do, if you do, if you have, let me write this. So if I have one plus two times three, okay, in a calculator, if I put it in straight like that, it's going to do one plus two, get that answer, and then it's going to multiply it by three, which is nine. But order of operation says do your multiplication first and then your addition. You can see you have two different answers. Okay, so you have to know how to um, use your calculator. You can't just assume since it's technology that uh, it's right, right? You have to know how to use it. Okay, so here we go. So we have, um, let me see. Um, I'm looking at that the ones that are on my math lab. So I'm gonna try and do it based on, let's see. Um, okay, so we have our 6.3% uh, compounded monthly. Okay, and we have 2,000, 2,451, and it says deposited every month. So that's 200 
or 2,451 per month. This is a payment, okay? You have to read it. If it says you start with 2,451 and that's it, then you're gonna use the compound interest formula. If it says 2,451 per month, that's a payment you're gonna use future value. It's a huge distinction between the two, okay? And then uh, it's for or five years. And they wanna know how much is in this annuity. So an annuity is just a generalized term for how much is in the bank account. All right, so here we go. Our rate, so hear me do it. I'll do it based on my math lab, is 0 0.063 divided by 12. So that's the first thing that I'm going to calculate. 0 0.063 divided by 12 is 0 0.00525. Okay, my PMT or the payment is 2451. And my time is five years. Okay, so using the, the MML, the My Math Lab N is um, five times 12. Technically, what this means is you're counting, you're, you're finding how many payments, right? There are 60 payments in five years. That's what you're doing every month for five years. So 12 times five, that's 50. That's what this, my math lab N is indicating, the number of payments. It's the same here. N times T is still the, the, um, the compounding times the time. So 12 times five, okay? All right, so let's set this up. So we are looking for future value. The payment is 24.51. I'm gonna multiply that by one plus my I raised to the 60 minus one, that's all over that, and then over I, 0 0.00525. Okay, order of operations. Here's what you're gonna do. You are going to do inside the parentheses first and then raise that number to the 60th. So it's gonna be, two, four, and notice I am writing everything. So when you guys take your test, you have to show me what you're doing. I do not count on my calculator just being able to put it straight through because the calculator will not calculate it right. Okay, so order of operations, I'm gonna do my exponent first. So I add one, I raise it to the 60th, and I'm going to hope I have enough room here. So I end up with uh, two, four, five, one. And on top, I end up with 1.36913 minus one. Notice I am not rounding. Do not round until the very, very last step. That will throw your answer every time. Then you can see I'm just continuing minus one. And then I'm gonna divide that by 0 0.00525. And I get, I'm gonna run out of room. Uh, two, four, five, one times 70.31060817. Okay, and then times two, four, five, one. So my answer, my future value is 172,000. Uh, 331, and now I round it. Don't round until the very end. Now, if you can see my calculator, I just continued, right? I just continued. I got my I, I got my N, and then I just started putting, let's see if you can see it. I just started putting it in, okay? So that's how you're gonna do future value. I'm gonna stop there.